Thank you for joining us for our Word of the Day. This morning as we're continuing through the Bible this year, we're going to look at the book of Ezekiel again. We're going to look specifically at Ezekiel chapter 7. Now, if you remember from yesterday, Ezekiel was a prophet that was taken away in the first Babylonian captivity. And on his 30th birthday, the day he should have been installed as a Levitical priest, he gets this vision from God, this vision of God's glory, and this command from God to act out in public the judgments that God is sending to Israel because of their idolatry. And it's a lot of weird visions. He does a lot of weird things. And then in chapter 10, he receives a second vision from God. It's been about a year from the first one. And so he has the second vision. And God gives him a vision of the temple back in Israel and shows him what is going on. And it's not good. The Elders in Israel are worshiping false idols that are placed outside of the temple. They're worshiping false gods inside the temple. The women of Israel are worshiping these Babylonian gods. And it's just Israel has completely turned their back on God, completely forgotten about God, and is using God's temple, the place where God's glory and God's presence resides, to worship these false idols. So God shows uh, Ezekiel an image of the glory of God leaving the temple. And that's that's huge because in the Old Testament, that is where the glory of God resided. That is where the presence of God resided. And God is telling Ezekiel, because of Israel's idolatry, because of their sin, his presence is leaving them. And as the presence leaves Jerusalem, leaves the temple, it goes east towards Babylon. And so God is is telling Ezekiel to tell the nation of Israel that because of their idolatry, because of their sin, that his presence will not reside with them anymore. And it's a very bleak, very dark uh, vision. But he does give him hope at the end of chapter 11. Look what the Bible says, starting in verse 18. When they come there, they shall take away the detestable things and all the abominations from it. I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within them. I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances and do them. And they shall be my people and I will be their God. This is an incredible promise that God gives, not just to Ezekiel, not just to Israel, but to us as well. That when we we come to the point where we realize our sin against God and we humbly repent of our sin and confess our sin before him, that God will restore His presence to us. The fact is that when we have sin in our life, we we do not enjoy the presence of God. But God even says that throughout the Bible. He says if you have iniquity, if you have sin in your heart, unconfessed sin in your heart, a, a, a feeling that you deserve to do whatever it is you're doing despite what the Word of God says, God says, I will not hear you. I will not be with you. My presence with you is broken. Not our relationship. We are still children of God. We are still daughters and and sons of, of the Holy God. We are still going to heaven when we die. We don't lose relationship, but we lose fellowship. And for a believer, the worst thing that can happen to us is to lose the fellowship of God. But God promises that if we confess, if we repent, that He will restore His fellowship with us. He will restore his presence. He'll take out that cold, stony, proud, arrogant heart, and he'll put a new heart in us. He will give us his spirit so that we can walk in his presence and enjoy his fellowship. That's the greatest thing we can have as a child of God on earth right now, is the fellowship and the presence of God. Thanks so much for joining us for our word of the day. Be sure to be back here tomorrow as we continue through scriptures. Have a blessed day.